I've witnessed countless wonders in my years of exploration, but few match the extraordinary transformation from egg to frog. Today, we embark on a journey that spans from the depths of a moonlit pond to the first tentative steps on land. It's a tale of metamorphosis, as old as life itself. In the shallows of a tranquil pond, under the soft glow of moonlight, a pair of frogs entwine in an ancient dance. The female releases hundreds of jelly-like spheres into the water, each a potential life waiting to unfold. As we observe through our microscopic lens, a cloud of sperm surrounds these eggs. In a moment of cosmic significance, a single sperm penetrates the egg's gelatinous coating, and two become one. Within hours, this single cell embarks on a breathtaking journey of division. Two cells become four, four become eight, and on it goes in a geometric progression of astounding precision. Hmm. Soon a hollow sphere forms the blastula, a globe of potential floating in its own orbit of jelly. As we enter the third day, a remarkable transformation occurs. The embryo folds inward upon itself in a process called gastrulation. It's as if the very fabric of life is being woven before our eyes. Three distinct layers emerge, each destined to become different parts of the body. The outer layer, or ectoderm, will form the skin and nervous system. By the fifth day, the first signs of a recognisable creature begin to appear. A groove forms along the back, folding into a tube that will become the spinal cord. At the head end, a bulge appears, the nascent brain, and in a moment that never fails to fill me with wonder, a tiny tube begins to pulse. The first heartbeat a rhythm that will continue for the rest of this creature's life. As we approach the tenth day, the embryo, now recognisably a tadpole, grows restless in its jelly prison. With increasing urgency, it wriggles and squirms. Suddenly, in a burst of movement, it breaks free. The tadpole emerges into the vast world of the pond, its external gills flaring as it takes its first breath of water. In the days that follow, we witness an extraordinary series of changes. The external gills are gradually covered by a fold of skin. The operculum and internal gills develop. Ah, the tadpole's tail grows larger and more muscular, propelling it through the water as it constantly feeds, scraping algae with its keratinized mouthparts. As we enter the final stages of this remarkable journey, the most dramatic changes occur. Tiny buds appear on the tadpole's body, growing and differentiating into legs. The hind limbs develop first, followed by the forelimbs, which actually form under the operculum and must break through. As the legs grow stronger, the tail begins to shrink, its tissues broken down and reabsorbed to fuel the metamorphosis. The tadpole's body reshapes itself for a life beyond the water. Its mouth widens and develops a sticky tongue. The eyes migrate to a more dorsal position, allowing the frog to see above the water's surface. And perhaps most crucially, lungs develop and the young frog begins to take gulps of air. Finally, after about three months of development, a fully formed froglet emerges from the water, taking its first breath of air and its first tentative hop on land. From water to land, from jelly to leper, we've witnessed an ancient metamorphosis, a cycle renewed with every generation. Hmm, it speaks to the remarkable adaptability of life, echoing our own evolutionary journey from sea to land. As this young frog takes its place in the world, the cycle begins anew, an endless dance of life that has captivated me throughout my career.